Lisa, my web designer, is in my uh, tractor here, and we're doing a video because uh, National Hay Association uh, uh, convention today, and uh, we, I think it's their 128th convention, and we're going to make hay because that's why we're not there, and we got perfect weather for a long time. We're just going to show our monitor. This is a crone monitor here. Can you get that, or is the light messing with it? All right, I can't see a darn thing with these glasses. But basically, uh, this tells the length of the bale. Uh, this tells the pressure. This little thing slides back and forth here. If the wind rows are too big, we can move over, similar to what a round baler does. Uh, my point to make on that, you should make good wind rows where you don't have that problem. This thing up here is when the feeder fork kicks in. And this thing here with the lock and the wheels, in the back of my baler, for getting on hills and tight fields, we need a steerable rear axle. And when you go down the road or you want to back it up, you have to, uh, um, um, there we go. See it straightened out? Uh, when you back up, and we use a hydraulic cylinder here to do that. So one of the tractors is that. Now I got the, I think it's unlocked, uh, yeah, it's tilted there. So we got that. This is the number of bales that I've baled so far. Um, pressure, my PTO running. This here's my knotter that knots. And some of the other stuff right now I can't see. I've got lights. I got a manual and I got an automatic. And I put it on automatic because that's just the way I do it. And that's the best way to do it because then the bales keep improving as I bale. They got a heck of a deal on it. Just so you know, this is my monitor down or my applicator for uh, Silo King. The hay is completely dry. I don't have to worry about it catching on fire. That's why I, uh, we try to let it out here. Um, this runs a fan on the blower and this runs an auger on the applicator. And this is the speed to increase it for whatever you might need using it. We use that on hay that's uh, around 20% moisture. If it gets over 25, it don't work. And the other thing that we uh, uh, we still do put it on, if we got really good hay and rains come in, we've, we've had dry hay and then the humidity come in and moved it up. So this yellow handle here, this is a manual PTO. This tractor works great for this baler. We got one brake that runs all four wheel, uh, wheels on this tractor here uh, on a PTO shaft. I give it a little bit of gas. And where I put it in gear. And we'll go from there. This is my one that raises and lowers the baler there. And I uh, can't really get to it. So we got the baler there. Let's go and make some hay. <laughs>
some reason all the dirt sticking to it. And I have a hard time reading this. I got 1900 RPMs on that. I run this about the middle or about 980 on that. BTO. Our hay vine is uh, 14 feet wide. some of the hurricane weather and uh, we tatted the hay uh, twice. That was the bug, buzzer that said if we just tied the bale. We gotta look back there, Lisa, make sure all our, we call these lollipops back there. Uh, the top part of the bale don't have uh, a monitor on the missing of the strength. I think New Holland does. One of the strings break on the bottom. So there's double knotters on this baler. So you got two when it ties, it ties two knots, one on both ends. And this keeps it from pulling all the, the string and stuff on it. So uh, uh, we're out there. Uh oh, I'm running too fast. I gotta slow it down. That's what that's telling me. Really? Yeah. cutting for some, but it's been raining all the time, and I did not want to ruin this field. As you can see, this is a really nice, pretty field, and uh, I was talking to Wesley uh, uh, there, the one lonely farmer, go to his uh, website, and uh, uh, he's just got a lot of grass, but they have to mow the field by a certain date. Well, he didn't mow it. If you put ruts in these fields, you can't bale it. You can't cut it. Every time you pick up a bale, you bounce through it. And by waiting here, it's usually grass hay does not, uh, you know, make a lot. But with the, the freakish weather stuff, you know, I think right now we're cutting two cuttings for one. So I'm saving a little bit on the cuttings. The idea of having multiple cuttings for grass hay. Depends upon the seat and the heads and what have you there. But you know, the main reason we didn't do it, if you ain't got no hay to cut, uh, that was it. We're, we're going to cut hay when we think we can bed it, bale it, and put it up right. Because if it gets rained on, we can't sell it. But this hay here, you can put it in your barn and it ain't going to burn unless you light it with a match. And uh, uh, but it's dry, it ain't going to heat up. This has been the first nice hay making weather it seems like to me almost in a couple of years. Uh, we went through severe droughts and floods. On the other side of the timber over there is where we did a uh, uh, CBS uh, World video at one time for the, uh, you know, being on it. But, you know, I'm still looking for money to pay for the losses uh, for seven or eight years ago. You know, they still need to be paid and the main word is ouch you know it hurts but that's life you know we're in this business and, and the thing one of the things that I'm trying to preach to half a dozen people you need to have a passion for this to be good at it you need to love it I grew up basically kind of hating it because the damn bailer always broke down um, there was that water spout 
water in them wash house and drive over with the tractor. That kind of helps fill it in. So that's another trick of the trade that you guys are learning free. So, uh, you know, uh, my most important thing for success, don't listen to people in the coffee shop that know everything. They absolutely know nothing. That's why they're talking about it. They're waiting for somebody to tell them that they're crazy or stupid. And uh, most people that know what, what's going on just like to listen to them talk because everybody else knows that they're crazy and stupid. That's my opinion, anyhow. So um, I'm going with it. Thank you everybody. You're welcome. Just go ahead and you keep doing what